All right, y'all. We're going to judge Retro World. Today, I just want to show you how to hook up your Xbox 360 to the modern 5G network at your home. Now, this is the only way it works, okay? I've tried the wireless little dongle back here. Let me turn my Xbox around. This is my Halo 3 edition. So I have the little wireless dongle. I've tried it over and over again to connect it, to try to manually put it in like my old video uh, showed, you know, that I have that was very popular. But a lot of people were still having issues, so I wanted to do an update video. And I found that, yes, this, in fact, this new updated router that I got roughly a year ago, less than that, I think it was like eight months now, nine months, they... um they don't send out the proper signal that is compatible with these little dongles back here that we got years ago okay the only way it's going to work is with the ethernet cable now mine right here i couldn't get it off like this easily because it's hard to push that little tab in because once you push this tab in it clicks now the one they gave me had this little protective cover i don't know if you can see it yeah right there so the little plastic little bubble over it was not allowing me to release this ethernet cable from the back of my xbox 360 because li listen when you hear it click that clip pops into place and it locks it so that you can't pull this out and damage the cable or the connection or anything like that okay if you yank it hard enough, yes, it's going to break. It's going to break either the cable or your Xbox 360, so be very careful. Now, the other end of that cable is going to go to your router. Now, everybody has a Wi-Fi router in, in 2023, so you're just going to go to the back to it, and you're going to see where it says Ethernet, and it has three numbers, three little ports right there. I'm sorry. Let me turn it more, and that's where you're going to plug up your other end of the cable. So right now, it's blinking. Number one is blinking because it's showing that it has... A good connection to my xbox 360 and yeah that's that's it y'all it's very simple the longer the cable you know the longer you'll be able to have your xbox 360 you know moved away from your from your, your router or whatever but as for me i got it hooked up right over here to my 4k tv and so let's set this camera up and let me show you that it is in fact connected there is a check mark right there on the screen now, like I said, I've tried it over and over again with the Wi-Fi little router thing, and it just won't work, y'all. It just won't. You're going to have to buy a router that sends that signal out, and you can buy one, and they configure it and all that other stuff. But you're going to have to get, like, two devices like this, one to decode it and one to send out the signal properly and all that other stuff. Maybe I'm wrong, but from what I've seen in all the comments and everything from the last video that was what you had to do okay it was just a lot of work when you can just simply get a, a super long cable that's 100 feet 200 feet and just route it nice and neat as you can see i got my cable management as neat as i can back here because i don't like clutter i don't like mess and so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start using this so when i play playstation 5 over here on this big tv I don't have any lag or any kind of worry that uh, the connection is slow. This will give me a beautiful superior connection. So we're going to show you just how it, yeah, it's working. It's playing Netflix and all that. So let's go look at that real quick. Now, as you can see, it says to check on the wire network. And when we click on it, we can go down and test the network set status. And, you know, but... It's not. It's gonna fail because it wants to connect to the Xbox 360 um, live, whatever. But I don't have that. If you have an account with that, then you'll be able to go past this with your account. But this Xbox 360 that was given to me, no. So um, it connects to the network, as you can see. But it says no to the internet. That's because that's Xbox Live internet. But I can still go back go over here to my apps and literally play Netflix and YouTube. You have to sign into your Xbox 360 account for the YouTube, but for my Netflix, nah, I can play it just like this off of the internet. It's super slow because it's, it's this old technology, you know? I hit the Xbox button, but it's taking this long to load. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? There you go. Yeah, this is in real time, y'all. I wanted to show you that it actually works. Ain't that cool? You get to sit there. And so if you got a CRT TV, you can literally put it and uh, watch whatever, you know, whatever you want on a CRT TV. Yeah, the format's going to look bad because this is designed for a 16 by 9 formatted program and TV. And the Xbox 360 does show an HDMI. Like, that's why I'm, I'm able to hook it up right now to the to this right now with with no issues because it has the HDMI out, but it also has the AV out. That's what's great about those Xbox 360s, y'all. It was just a beautiful, beautiful device that, I mean, it's, it was ahead of its time. So let's go to the Xbox Home and show you. Yeah, I'm actually streaming netflix off of that now i can't play nothing on that netflix because they get copyrighted but look it let me sign in boom yeah that's that's beautiful y'all i love that it's really great really great that you can play your xbox 360 and connect to the internet so i guess y'all that need the stats Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> I think I do a little gameplay. I gotta make my videos 10 minutes long in order to get that revenue, y'all. But, uh, Xbox 360 still looks beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful system. You ain't never tried it. Go out there, find them. I mean, they're cheap. You can find them everywhere. And if they haven't broken yet, give them a good cleaning, restore them like they're supposed to, you know, update their hard drive with a modern solid state drive and yeah, just, just enjoy the heck out of it, man, because they got some great games. I'm going to have to go back and get the Gears of War parts one and two because I, I got part three and I love it. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Yeah, the show. Come on. Xbox 360 mode. Yes. Next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.
<laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah.